This is a New Focus magazine production, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. The following reading, The Only Psalm, is by Charles Haddon Spurgeon and is read by Terence Ellard. Ever to the Saviour cling, trust in Him and none beside. Never let an earthly thing hide from thee the crucified. Ever cast on Him thy care, He invites thee so to do. Never let thy soul despair, He will surely help thee true. Ever live as in the view of the day of glory near. Never be to Christ untrue. Thou shalt soon his glory share. A psalm highly characteristic of David is Psalm 62, which we are in the habit of calling the only psalm from its containing such frequent repetitions of the word only. David rejoiced to place his confidence in God only. 1. Truly, or as it is in the original only, my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Our salvation in no measure or degree comes to us from any but the Lord. Let us therefore depend alone upon Him. If to wait on God be worship, to wait on the creature is idolatry. If to wait on God alone be true fate, to associate an arm of flesh with Him is audacious unbelief. Yet, how very few of us steer clear of these evils and look to God alone. 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence. I shall not be greatly moved. Moved, as one says, but not removed. Moved like a ship at anchor, which swings with the tide, but is not swept away by the current. Nothing stays the soul like a fate which leans alone on God. In fate it is good to have but one string to our bow, one pillar to our house. 3. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. As a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. For they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, Selah. The world is full of flatterers. And these are plotters against our best prosperity. Let us fly from them to the one only confidence of the saints. If we have God for us, who can be against us? 5. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. Knock at no other door but that of thy God. God is one. Let thy hopes look towards him alone. A single eye will fill thee with light. 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defence. I shall not be moved. 7. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Notice how David brands his own initials upon every title which he rejoicingly gives to God. My expectation, my rock, 
my salvation, my glory, and so on. There are seven mys in two verses, and there can never be too many. The fate which makes personal appropriation of divine blessings is the fate we all need. 8. Trust Him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Ye to whom His love is revealed, reveal yourselves to Him. Turn the vessel of your soul upside down in His presence and let your inmost thoughts, desires, sorrows, and sins be poured out like water. To keep our griefs to ourselves is to hoard up wretchedness. Give your woe free course before the Lord, and its end is near. 9. Surely men of low degree are vanity and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Men, whether great or small, are still but men, and men are dust. To trust in the many is folly. To rely upon the eminent few is madness. To depend upon the Lord alone is the only sanity. 10. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Here is a difficult precept, for worldly wealth is a slimy thing, and is too apt to cling to the heart. Perhaps this is the reason why so many of the saints are in poverty, because the Lord would spare them from being tempted by increasing riches. God only must be our rest, and not the treasures of time. Wealth is but wind, if we make it our confidence. 11. God had spoken once. Twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Not to men, nor to their possessions may we look for power. That is the prerogative of God alone. Those are wise who look for help alone to Him. 12. Also unto thee, O Lord, belong it mercy. For thou renderest to every man according to his work. He gives us strength equal to our day. Power is all his own, but he will render as much to us as our work requires. Let us seek it at his hands and at his hands only. New Focus magazine is committed to the Protestant Reformed faith and the advancement of conservative and evangelical Christianity. While seeking to appeal to as wide a readership as possible, New Focus magazine will not be used as a medium for the promotion of ecumenical involvement the charismatic movement, or liberal theology. For further inquiries, please contact Peter at go-newfocus.co.uk. Thank you.